since you've had, there's been two main branch offs from Judaism that stay Abrahamic in their in their beliefs. That would be Christianity and um, Islam with the Muslims. So you've got the Christians and the Muslims. Um, the Muslims from now, this is just my vague understanding of it. You probably have a much better understanding of it than I do. The Muslims hold that Jesus was just a prophet of God and was not God in the flesh. So based on the the understanding of the two groups, who would wh which one would fit closer into Judaism? Would it be the Muslims or, or Christians? Well, this is not even a contest. So the Muslims, because they believe in one true God, they really worship one God and one God alone. And they have not allowed themselves to become defiled with the doctrine of the Trinity. Islam is by far the closest faith to Judaism. It's more than just worshiping one God. But Muslims believe that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were prophets. If you don't believe that, you can't be a Muslim. Muslims rightfully reject the hideous, the odious views of Paul and the the gospel writers, with the exception of Luke, in vicarious atonement, the notion that a man could die for the sins of the wicked, that's the mother load of bad ideas. Muslims correctly detest the teachings of Paul that Jesus could have died for anyone since. Muslims, as it turns out, do not believe that Jesus ever died, but rather ascended, and he was never crucified, although it just appeared that way. So it's more than just believing in one God, but they, Muslims believe that the, the prophets of Israel are we're all genuine prophets of God. Islam is not a cult, as Christians like to portray them, but they are, there are different views within the orthodoxy of Islam. So there are some different views within orthodoxy. I'm not talking about what Muslims consider complete heresies. And there are quite a number of them. Muslims believe in one God, and therefore it has a unique status. So Islam rejects, of course rejects the doctrine of the Trinity. In fact, the, the Quran explicitly rejects the notion of worshiping three, explicitly. Any kind of partnership called in Arabic a shirk is the most grotesque iteration of idolatry, meaning that you worship God, but in addition to God, there's a partnership with some other divine being. To them, it's, that's the worst thing you can possibly do. And it's the exact same thing you would find in Judaism. You should have no other gods upon my face, Exodus chapter 20. I haven't been elected as the chief spokesman of Islam yet. I'm waiting for my... Um, my postcard in the mail from Riyadh, but Islam regards Jesus as a prophet, not any kind of prophet. There is in Islam a high order of prophet called the Rasul, but it's a prophet. But a Rasul simply means someone who came to bring a Sharia, which means a, a message. And they believe that message that Isa that Jesus had was for the Jews. So therefore, the, the Muslim idea of Jesus, something so completely different than Christianity, that, you know, to us, that's, that's not an, it's, that's a non-issue. And that's why Jude, Jews don't feel, I'm not the spokesman for the Jewish people. I should be, but I'm not. But Jews are not really offended by Islam. On the contrary, we feel you know, that, that's really respectful. But they don't think that Jesus was divine or died for anybody's sins or could die or anyone could die. And rather, Muslims appeal to God's mercy and, and hope that they would be forgiven for their sins. So it's, it's completely different than Christianity. <laughs>